This is Sarah, and today we're going to talk about nipples. Nipples. Yeah. I decided that the next peripheral is going to involve the soft, sensitive flesh up here, and I started working on an augment that I am calling the propeller pasties. That should definitely get some very particular imagery forming in your mind right now. First and foremost, I had to decide whether or not this thing was going to sense or indicate. Off the top of my head, I can think of about one or two things that you can actually read from a nipple, and that is uh, stiffness and probably size. There are a lot of sensors that, that can read either one of these things, but Mark happened to have like a half a dozen of those tiny IR reflective distant sensors, and they're really great because they're used for reading about, I don't know, fluctuations within six millimeters of space, which is the operating range of a nipple. So I ended up designing a pasty standoff that <laughs> three of these IR sensors mount to, and they basically encapsulate the nipple at a distance so that if any uh, fluctuation happens whatsoever, they read them and they do so really well. So I'm happy with how this actually worked out because I wasn't expecting it to work as consistently as it ended up working. Because <laughs> when you think about it, it's actually quite hard to get an accurate reading from something on a boob. They move. If you're trying to read something as small as, you know, fluctuations within like one or two millimeters, it's difficult to do so when the entire body is moving in and of itself. So I did realize very early in the game that what I was going to make for the breasts was going to be a pasty rather than a bra. You get a lot more accurate readings when the sensor is fixed to the thing that it's sensing. So part of my week involved 3D printing different shapes that mount to the breast, and then the apparati that I would develop would then screw onto those pasty mounts, if you will. So once I had the IR sensor standoff sensing augment locked down, there was the whole matter of creating the thing that was doing the indication of the stiffness. What I designed for the other breast is this interesting gearbox that does in fact spin a propeller at a rate equal to the amount of stiffness or a size sensed by the IR sensors. But what kind of gearbox, Sarah? I picked up this interesting little toy, like, rover kit from Tokyo last month, and I assembled it not too long ago. But um, on the top, there was this flashy for show planetary gear system with three internal gears that rotated inside of it. That kind of stuck in my mind. I was thinking to myself, well, why not have something like that on the surface of the breast that facilitated in causing the propeller to spin? One of the uh, kind of objectives of all of the augments part of the Shibon project is that their indication stimulate the wearer as a byproduct. So since this gearbox is functioning to spin the propeller, I decided, well, that's an interesting motion. Why not leverage that in some way to actually massage the nipple as well? But you're probably thinking right now, oh my god, Sarah, like, gears and nipples don't go together ever. Like, you should never put nipples near gears. <laughs> and you're right. I'm not, I'm not that insane, and I don't like that kind of rough play. So needless to say, I had to come up with some way to keep the functioning gears separate from the soft fleshy bits, so I created these paddles that are part of the gear, and they're kind of oval shaped, but as they uh, rotate, there's sort of this offset motion that kind of like massages the nipple in this like rotating sort of motion. It's like a nipple kneader. Yeah. So the fun thing that I made to test all of this is this fixture that utilizes earplugs. So I mounted some of these earplugs to a piece of cardboard, and if you squeeze them really hard, they very, very slowly decompress, which is an excellent way to test whether or not the IR sensors are working. This is also a good time to mention that I will be bringing all of this to one of Hackaday's hardware developers, Didactic Galactics, in San Francisco on July 12th. So I'll be demoing a lot of these systems as well as talking about the Shibon project in general. But anyhow, thank you as always for tuning in and listening to all of my craziness. Keep making awesome stuff out there, and I don't know, I'll be talking at you in the near future. Yeah? Nips. Nipples. Jelly beans.